Well, good morning. This is Sergeant Riddlesberger. I'm coming back to uh, read another book for you, and I'm happy to uh, get to read Richard Scarry's A Day at the Police Station. It is Friday evening. The Murphy family has finished dinner. Mrs. Murphy clears the table while Sergeant Murphy washes the dishes. It's time to get into your pajamas and go off to bed, Mrs. Murphy tells Bridget. Run along to your room and I'll read you a story, calls Sergeant Murphy. While Bridget climbs the stairs, she can hear her parents talking in the kitchen. I have to go to Workville tomorrow, Sarge, says Mrs. Murphy. Could you please look after Bridget? Hmm, replies Sergeant Murphy. Officer Flo is sick. I have to be on duty for, with, for her tomorrow. But I'll just take Bridget to the police station with me. She won't mind, I think. But when Sergeant Murphy goes up to Bridget's room, he finds her crying. What's the matter, Bridget? Sergeant Murphy asks. I wanted to go to the amusement park tomorrow, Bridget cries. And now you have to work. I don't like that you're a police officer. You're always on duty. But being a police officer is very important, says Sergeant Murphy, hugging Bridget. I'm sorry we can't go to the amusement park, but we'll have a good time at the police station. That I can promise. The next morning, Sergeant Murphy and Bridget drive off to the police station. Goodbye, Bridget, calls Mrs. Murphy. Goodbye, Sarge. On the way, they come to an intersection. There is a huge traffic jam. The traffic light is broken. Sergeant Murphy directs the cars until Mr. Fixit can come and repair the light. That is what Daddy calls a good time, Bridget says, pouting, watching traffic. Just then, Mr. Raccoon comes out of his coffee shop, bringing Bridget a glass of milk and a donut. Your father sure does a good job, Bridget, he says. I don't know what busy town would do without him. Soon, Sergeant Murphy and Bridget are on their way again. When they arrive at the police station, the telephone is ringing. Sergeant Murphy answers it. Busy town, police station, Sergeant Murphy here. It's Hilda Hippo on the line. Oh, Sergeant Murphy, I'm so frightened. There's a ghost in my bathroom. A ghost, Sergeant Murphy replies. Just stay calm, Hilda. I'll be right over. Sergeant Murphy and Bridget race over to Hilda's. When they arrive, Hilda looks as pale as a ghost herself. Sergeant Murphy, I haven't slept a wink, Hilda says nervously. The ghost has been flushing the toilet all night. Suddenly from upstairs comes, flush. Hmm, says Sergeant Murphy. You two wait here while I see about this uh, ghost. He peeks inside, but the bathroom is empty. Flush, goes the toilet again. Sergeant Murphy climbs into the, onto the toilet seat and checks inside the tank. There, he says. The toilet should just needed some adjusting. You shouldn't let your imagination run away with you like that, Hilda. On the way back to the police station, they see a toddler crying in the street. Sergeant Murphy takes her to the police station. The phone is ringing when they arrive. It's the child's mother. Thank goodness her darling is safe with Sergeant Murphy. Bridget plays with the toddler until her mother comes to fetch her. Just then, Mr. Frumble arrives at the door. Excuse me, but has anyone seen my hat? He asks. It's the third one I've lost in three days. Sergeant Murphy makes a note on, of the lost hat and promises to call Mr. Frumble if it's found. Minutes after Mr. Frumble leaves, Mr. Gronkle storms in. I'm here to report a robbery, he shouts. Wow, a real robbery, thinks Bridget. My car keys have been stolen, says Mr. Gronkle, and I know who took them. Wolfgang Wolf, Harry Hyena, and Benny Baboon.
through the door kink come Wolfgang, Harry, and Benny, each wearing a green hat. Did somebody call us? asked Wolfgang. We found these hats, says Harry, and we're bringing them here to be returned to their rightful owner, adds Benny. I saw you thieves walking around my car, shouts Mr. Grunkle. You must have stolen my keys. I can't find them anywhere. Now just a moment, Mr. Grunkle, Sergeant Murphy says. You have to have some proof before you can accuse someone of stealing. We didn't take your keys, says Wolfgang. We'd never steal anything, says Harry. Honest, adds Benny. Sergeant Murphy decides they should all go together to the scene of the crime. Are these your stolen keys? Bridget asks Mr. Grunkle, holding up a ring of keys. Why, yes, replies Mr. Grunkle, surprised. Wherever did you find them? Under your car by the door, says Bridget. I guess your thief must have accidentally dropped them, Sergeant Murphy tells Mr. Grunkle. I owe you an apology, Mr. Grunkle says to Wolfgang, Harry, and Benny. To make up for my mistake, I want to take you out for Sundays. As they, began, as they walk back to the police station, Sergeant Murphy and Bridget see two boys fighting. Sergeant Murphy runs up and pulls them apart. Stop that, he says. What's this all about? Jimmy won't let me ride his bike, says Johnny. It's my bike, shouts Jimmy. You need to settle your problems peacefully, Sergeant Murphy tells the boys. Just then, Bridget hears someone crying, help! Sergeant Murphy races to the edge of the pier. He bravely dives into the river. Sergeant Murphy carries banana, Bananas Gorilla safely out of the river. My, isn't he strong? Then he dives back into the river. Does he want to go for a swim? No, he wants to get Bananas Banana Mobile. Please do be careful when driving near the water, Sergeant Murphy tells Bananas. Back at the police station, Sergeant Murphy puts on a dry uniform. We have to hurry or we'll be late for school, he says. Bridget is confused. School? On Saturday, she wonders. Sergeant Murphy and Bridget arrive at the school playground. Some children have come with their bikes for a traffic safety class. Here are some of the things Sergeant Murphy teaches them. Ride single file, give hand signals when turning, Always obey traffic lights and signals. Cross the street at the crosswalk. Wear a helmet. Isn't that right, Rue? Gotta wear a helmet. Make sure your brakes, lights, and bell work properly. And please don't leave your bike lying around. Park it properly. Thank you. We missed you at the amusement park today, Bridget, Huckle says. I was on duty with dad I was on duty with Daddy all day, Bridget replies. We got rid of a ghost? and helped a little girl find her mommy. Then we solved a robbery, and Daddy stopped two boys who were fighting. Then he bravely saved Banana's gorilla from drowning. Wow, says Huckle. Having a dad who's a police officer must be pretty neat. You bet it is, replies Bridget. I think my daddy has the very best job ever. Um, excuse me, Sergeant Murphy. But has anyone seen my hat yet? <laughs> Great book. Hey, Rue. This is baby Rue. She had to come see what the book was all about. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.